See charcoal cavity test. This test is performed on a charcoal block in which a small cavity is made with the help of a knife. That in this cavity about 0.1 gram of the salt or mixture under investigation is placed with about 0.2 grams of sodium carbonate or fusion mixture. The mass is then moistened with a drop of water and heated in the reducing flame with the help of a blow pipe. The color of the bead or the deposit thus formed is noted. From the following table some inference can be derived by noting the color. So here is a table which gives color of the bead or in crustacean and inference drawn from that. So in the first column we have observations and in the second column inference about the metal present. Number one, formation of metallic bead. A. If it is lustrous white then silver is present. B. Grayish white that marks on the paper then lead is present. C. White but does not mark paper, tin is present. D. Red, copper is present. Second, incrustation with metal. A. White incrustation, brittle metal, antimony is present. B. Yellow incrustation, brittle metal, bismuth is present. C. Yellow incrustation, malleable metal, lead is present. Third, incrustation without metal. A. Yellow and orange when hot indicates BIO. B. White and yellow when hot may be ZNO, oblique SNO. Chemistry of charcoal cavity test. When a metallic salt is heated with sodium carbonate or fusion mixture, the metal carbonate is formed with decomposition into metal oxide and carbon dioxide. The carbon of the charcoal block may further reduce the metal oxide into metal. For example, CuCl2 plus Na2CO3 on heating gives CuCO3 plus 2 NaCl. Then CuCO3 on heating gives CuO plus CO2. And finally CuO plus carbon gives Cu plus Cu.